The Steuben County Courthouse is expected to reopen today after chemicals caused evacuations this week. The DeKalb County Sheriff's race heats up and community leaders look into ways to make US 6 a historical trail. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff in Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local, dependable, on demand. And now, the latest from Who's your Ohio News Channel. The Steuben County Courthouse is expected to reopen today after being closed for more than a day this week because of a chemical reaction involving drain cleaners. According to Mayo Sanders, president of the county commissioners, the building was evacuated Tuesday afternoon when crews were cleaning the building's drains and switched from one chemical cleaner to another. They had an adverse reaction. The fire department was summoned and the building was evacuated. No injuries were reported and officials do hope the building will be back open today for business. The signs are up all over town, indicating that a Cal County Sheriff's race is heating up. The candidates are three men who each have had more than two decades of experience in policing the county, Jay Oberholzer, Mark Heffelfinger, and Don Lauer. The candidates are all running in the Republican primary, and no Democrat has filed to run. Heffelfinger has 25 years experience in law enforcement with the last 15 serving in DeKalb County. Lauer is a Sheriff's Department detective and has had 20 years experience with the Sheriff's Department, has worked in the jail, the dispatch center, and been on patrol both as a road deputy and a supervisor is currently Chief Deputy at the Sheriff's Department. He was Sheriff from 1995 to 2002 and is the Republican Party Chairman. He has a total of 32 years experience in the Department. The primary election will be held on May 4th. And DeKalb and Noble Counties are working together to build US 6 into a tourist-friendly heritage trail. A similar project has been done in Pennsylvania, and its director, Terry Dennison, has been touring our counties this week to help generate ideas and form a plan for a local project. Dennison will speak tonight at 6.30 at Parkview Noble Hospital about her work in Pennsylvania and how we can organize the same for US 6. And Trine University is sponsoring a free program tomorrow to help educate community members on how to help fight drugs in our neighborhoods. Identifying the drug user will take place in the Fabiani Theater starting at 9 a.m. The University's Department of Criminal Justice, Psychology, and Social Sciences are sponsoring the event, and Deputy Tim Troyer of the Steuben County Sheriff's Department will host the program. For more information, call 260-665-4198. And Indiana Governor Mitch Daniels is going to visit IPFW next week to talk with students and answer some questions. Daniels will be in Fort Wayne on Tuesday afternoon starting at 4.30 in Kettler Hall. All IPFW students are welcome. And that's the news for now. Find more news at iloveforoggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state, so banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.